Hello everybody, my name is Dee. Welcome to Books and Quirks. Today I have another tag video. So today I'm going to be doing history trail tag. And I was tagged by the lovely Cheryl over at CR Flames Fan. I'll put her channel below. Please check her out. And this was created by the novel Nomad. So I will put all that information as well as the questions in the description below um, so that you can check them out and maybe do this yourself if you're a history buff like I am. Okay, so you may see me looking down from time to time just so I could see the questions, but number one says, first steps, what book, movie, person, or place introduced you to history and historical fiction? To history slash historical fiction. Um, I think I was introduced through a number of different um, things. I know that I know that I got my love of history from my mother. My mother is a huge history buff and she did pass that on to me. Um, when I was very young she used to take me to all of the museums across New York and yeah she just had such a passion for it. And she loved watching historical documentaries and even just, you know, movies that had a history element to it. And because of her love for it, I began to love it and become interested in, you know, anything having to do with history. I don't know if it was historical fiction when I was very young, um, but it definitely was, you know, a lot of movies and a lot of documentaries and of course all of the museums. So that's really where my history of love comes in. My love of history, oh my god I cannot speak. <laughs> my love of history comes in. Um, as far as historical fiction um, in terms of books, I don't think I really started reading historical fiction. I think probably I was introduced to it in school, you know, when you're required to read books like Of Mice and Men um, and things like that, but I don't think I started really reading historical fiction until I was an adult. And like I said, but that doesn't diminish the fact that I've always loved history. History was my favorite subject during my school days and I just, I just love anything having to do with history, especially prior to the 20th century. And not that I don't love the 20th century, um, but I just, I don't know, I find um, older history, even older history, more fascinating. Number two says, well-trodden path. What is your favorite historical recommendation? This could be a book, place, or movie. And that is easy. My, my recommendation would be, and my favorite historical fiction is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. And I mean, I'm sure you've heard of this book. It's very famous. Um, it's just, uh, I just love Atticus Finch so much. And of course, Scout, as well as the other characters, but Atticus Finch, I just, I wanted him to be my dad. <laughs> he was just so, so great. And the movie, you know, did the book justice, if you've ever seen the movie as well. Um, but that was just such a phenomenal book. I've read it multiple times in my life. I just love Atticus Finch so much, and that book would definitely be um, my go-to recommendation if somebody wanted historical fiction recommendation. Number three says, Good Boots. What is your favorite historical fashion era? Um, I think Cheryl took the best one, which is the 1920s when she did this tag. The 1920s is definitely such a fun era, but if I'm going to go a little bit different, I'm going to say the mid to late 19th century, so the mid 1800s to the to the latter part of the century, um, at least for the upper class. I don't know why I've always been fascinated by the fashion from that time. I just think that the dresses and everything, even with the corsets, um, were just so beautiful. Um, of course, only with the upper class, the poor lower class, you know, didn't have the best, the best fashion. But when you see pictures of the upper class during the 19th century, it's just gorgeous to me. So I guess I'm going to choose that, the, the last half of the 19th century. Number four says, close to home. What is a historical read set in your home country? 
Oh my god, how can I choose? There are just so many um, good books that are set in the U.S. Um, some famous ones, a famous one that I just mentioned was A Mice and Men. That's definitely um, a good classic set, set here. And um, of course there's Gone with the Wind, also set in the American South. And that is phenomenal as well. There's The Grapes of Wrath. Um, there's The Marrow of Tradition, which I've talked about in one of my classics video um, videos. And I mean, there are just too many to mention. I don't think I can pick just one. <laughs> but those are just some of the historical reads set in the U.S. Number five says, The Trail Not Taken. What historical errors do you avoid? Um, I don't think I avoid any historical errors. I'll basically read anything or even watch any documentary that is based on history, uh, whether it's recent history or, you know, very ancient history. I'm interested in it all. So there's nothing that I really avoid. If we're talking about preference, like I said, I love, I've read a lot of 20th century literature, but if it comes to preference, I really prefer older uh, history. I'm very much fascinated by any history prior to the 20th century. Um, that's not to say that I avoid the 20th century. I definitely don't. I've read so much um, over the years, but I do prefer kind of older, older stuff. Number six says trail map. What historical reads are on your TBR? And I feel like this is a repeat answer because I've mentioned her so many times in my previous videos. But I have begun to love, love, love Alison Weir's books. And now, because I've discovered her this year with War of the Roses and Innocent Traitor, I have all of her books on my TBR. <laughs> so, and she's written a lot. There are just so many. So I hope to get to at least one of her books like each month so that I can, you know, read them all because I just think that, you know, I just have so much fun reading her and her writing is so, you know, accessible, so easy and it's just, you know, she makes history come alive and that is the best kind of writer in my opinion. Number seven says pioneers. What historical person inspires you? Um, there are so many influential people throughout history. I don't know if I could pick just one. Um, there's of course Martin Luther King. Um, there is even Mother Teresa, you know, she's a historical figure now that was so inspiring. Um, I found, you know, her very, um, very inspiring for me. When Candace did this tag, I heard her mention Abraham Lincoln. Of course, he is a huge inspiration. There are just so many. Um, again, with, you know, one of the previous questions, I can't pick just one. I think that every person throughout history um, inspires me in one way or another. So it's definitely, um, it's definitely hard to pick. Even just a handful is difficult. And finally, number eight says, tag your fellow history nerds. Now, I don't, I don't know if I want to tag specific people because I don't know who loves history and who doesn't, who hasn't already done this tag. So, what I'm going to say that is if you love history, then I officially tag you. I think this is such a wonderful tag and it's just, it's so much fun to do if you really have a passion for history. So if you didn't do it and you love history, I officially tag you and I hope you do it and let me know so that I can watch it. And yeah, that is the history trail tag. That is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.